no tickets. Okay, no, I got more tickets over here. Hey, welcome to the stage, my friends. So welcome we're, we're, we're everybody to HPE. So uh, I got a, uh, where is my, it's right here. Okay, this is the last presentation for today. So I wanna make, just kind of do a quick, quick conversation about our portfolio. But uh, you guys have some questions, dedicated questions. So I'm gonna be offline, so talking about that. Okay, so um, uh, uh, first of all, I just need to kind of highlight th two things, right? We are going to have more deployments than ever. So we're going to have 25,000 kind of deployments around the world for the SAP fund, right? So that is kind of, uh, that is an interesting, interesting result. If you look at that number, and this is a, a report done from, done from uh, Gardner, but you look at that number, if you look at that slide, this basically means, right, experience. That experience, Commitment. Our relationship with SAP is stronger than ever. Our relationship with Intel is stronger than ever. We have a relationship with the uh, uh, partnership with with uh, Red Hat, with uh, SUSE. So I mean, this is that's, that's actually how we develop our infrastructure for SAP HANA. SAP HANA, it is not just basically uh, an average. It's an our database. It's a mission critical workload that we need just to keep in mind, right? Uh, so different type of architectures, the scalability, scale out. Scale up, uh, high ability. Those, those kind of things have been taken care of already with the, with the HP portfolio. But one thing that I want to highlight is something that we do run our own SAP HANA solution in our in our stuff. So HP has is kind of around 50 terabytes, right? 50 terabytes of HANA stuff inside HP and HP IT. So we're looking at two. There you go. We're looking at two. So we use our hardware. We use our experience, we use our services, and we actually use SAP. So this is kind of interesting because I mean, from the experience perspective, right, we have that, that type of commitment, and I don't want to highlight that one. Okay, uh, how we do it? How we actually kind of do our, our, our infrastructure uh, portfolio? Uh, very simple, we just need to come up, kind of have a way key components, right? So every time that you look at to HANA implementation, how many of you have HANA already? Okay, how many of you have uh, version one? Okay, how many of you have the latest version two? Right. So, how many are you planning to move to uh, from version one to migrate to version two? Right. So, those kind of things is uh, kind of uh, there are some evaluations to do that stuff. I mean, it's not an easy task. You got to keep in mind very core requirements like performance, scalability, right? flexibility. At the end of the day, is going to be DCO. That's what we do here in HPE. So we started with the, uh, uh, first of all, we started with the use case. How is it going to be, what is the objective for me, this kind of implementation? It's going to be for a business, business warehouse, it's going to be a real analytics for SAP, S4 HANA, or just basically uh, application tier, so just connect my current application. Secondly, it's going to be my sizing. So what is the right sizing for this infrastructure? So uh, when we talk about sizing, we just need to kind of evaluate what is my current database, the size and capacity of the current database, what's going to be my grow in the next couple months or next year, right? And we'll, how do we consolidate? The third one is going to be environment. So it's going to be on-premise, it's going to be on the cloud, or it's going to be a mix, a hybrid, right? We, we, we're working on not only on one solution, one environment, that's going to be eight. HP is totally to push everything on premise, not at all. So we try to kind of create all, all the sort of solutions available for, for you, for your environment, for HANA. And then lastly, it's going to be the deployment level. The deployment is going to be, we support TDI. We have TDI infrastructure solutions, and we have certifications, and we also have appliances as well. So both are being kind of certified by SAP for, for, for HANA. So let me, let me, let me kind of talk about the infrastructure portfolio. This would be HANA. So this is kind of nice slides. Why? Because it's not only servers. When we talk about HANA as a solution, we're looking into a storage service and the whole portfolio of services. When we talk about services and deployments, a different business model, and then it goes to from very small implementation to factory integrated here now our, in our labs to absolute delivery and the shipping. We're looking into the whole experience, migration, implementation, high ability, scalability, cluster, everything is involved on the our portfolio. So if we, if, we, if we just go to just the server line, we're using client servers, right? We recently kind of, kind of term, we've been celebrating 25 years 
of Prolion. How many of you use Prolion, right? How many of you have Prolion service in your, in, in your infrastructure? We just have celebrated 25 years of Prolion. This brand has been strong, has been in the market. We dominate the market around 40% of the market, uh, market share of uh, Intel servers, uh, Prime. So we got Prime, very small, with uh, DL360, Gen 10 servers, but you can actually kind of start with two sockets, up to three terabytes, but uh, using SAP Business One if you want to. And you go to the large, large, scalable solution called HP Superdome Flex. That, the beauty of HP Superdome Flex, it is just one module, one server. You can go and start from four sockets, up to 32 sockets in one single mode. And it can grow up to up to 48 terabytes, physical 48 terabytes. It has been certified by SAP HANA up to 15 terabytes in scale. So, and that, that's gonna be the server module, the server ones. What we have now, we have to the storage. Well, we actually have a, a session for storage as well. You can just come, come to store by tomorrow. But it, it goes through very small, very simple, and MSA uh, storage with uh, fiber channel connectivity up to the enterprise to three-part connection. Well, and plus we have the composable infrastructure, the blade infrastructure. How many of you have blades in sort of your data center, right? So the blade infrastructure for synergy is amazing. Why? It is not just because the server is the whole experience to automate deployment, to have the uh, composite component that you can deploy a template to deploy the infrastructure. But that template resides inside the chassis. You can have multiple servers with applications, uh, application tiers, you can have virtualization on it, and you can also have SAP HANA deployed. So that type of experience, it's, it's, it's amazing for, 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 the, for the perspective. So uh, this is our uh, portfolio certification already, and where we have maximum scale up and scale out uh, using the certification TDI phase five. And uh, you can see on the Superdome Flex, uh, right now we have like a 15 terabytes and scale up, and it goes through the more very small configuration of the 360, three terabytes, and the TDI only appliance, depending on what you're gonna be, um, you know. Next. Well, let me finish with the Superdome Flex. Superdome Flex, it is, it is one of the best mission critical architecture portfolio. Right. We do support finite uh, ability, vast capability, mission critical. You can start from very, very start with four sockets and it is growing as your database grow. I mean, you're gonna grow inside of one box, inside on it. So uh, basically it's a scale up solution, right? You're gonna kind of minimize the overhead, all the performance that you can have in the scale out because it's going to go to the scale out the same box. And this box has been certified not only for the SAP HANA, for Oracle databases and Microsoft SQL Server. So I encourage you just to look at it and if you have more questions about the server, just let me know. With that, I will just kind of thank you for everybody for stopping by and I'll kind of enjoy the show. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. All thank you. right. Well, and, thank uh, do we have any uh, questions uh, before uh, we go? Either an intelligent question or otherwise. All right, well in that case, if you two 